Good, happy Tuesday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Manchester seniors take part in annual holiday lights tour. Let's take a look at the video right now. Is there any way you can get an oil change today? <laughs> Without an appointment? Try in like two weeks. There has to be an easier way. Come to Auto Fair Honda, home of the 1795 oil change. I don't have an appointment today. Is there any way I can get an oil change? Of course. We'll have you out of here in 39 minutes or less. Or it's free. Servicing your vehicle is fast and easy at Auto Fair Honda. Call or book your appointment online at autofairhonda.com. Auto Fair makes it happen. The event of the season for these seniors so popular all the seats are booked long before these buses even roll hi everybody hi. how are you the manchester police chief welcomed everybody on board saying officers are honored to provide this holiday tradition particularly for the greatest generation uh, we are fulfilled by that so as much as you enjoy this i promise you the officers you're going to see tonight are enjoying it just as much and then they were off on the annual Senior Christmas Light Tour. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. A caravan of carolers, 150 in all, ooing and eyeing their way through Manchester and Bedford. Ooh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Faces near the frosty glass to see the twinkle in the neighborhoods many grew up in. This annual trip down memory lane so precious, the clauses came all the way from the North Pole. It makes our evening. I get, I get to see all the little bad boys and girls. <laughs> And the good girls and boys. And good girls and boys. <laughs> Back on the road with police officers acting as tour guides, these seniors shared more Christmas songs. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. And made a few new holiday memories. The lights over on, uh, what is it, Pauline Street, they call it? Uh-huh. My wife's name is Pauline, so it had to be great. Uh, with Santa Claus coming out. It was great to go around and see all the pretty lights, and it was really fun. And one of the best parts, the entire event, is a gift to the senior citizens, all made possible through donations. In Manchester, Gene Mackin, WMUR, News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. One pot meth lab discovered by Grofton High School students. Let's take a listen to the video right now. <laughs> Without an appointment, try in like two weeks. There has to be an easier way. Come to Auto Fair Honda, home of the 1795 oil change. I don't have an appointment today. Is there any way I can get an oil change? Of course. We'll have you out of here in 39 minutes or less, or it's free. Servicing your vehicle is fast and easy at Auto Fair Honda. Call or book your appointment online at autofairhonda.com. Auto Fair makes it happen. In today's event, it's a one-pot method of making methamphetamine. It's very, very dangerous, very volatile. What looks like a bottle of soda is in fact a dangerous mixture of chemicals used to make meth. It was found in the woods across the street from Groveton High School when a science class was learning about tree identification. At first, the students and their teacher dismissed it as trash until they noticed something off about the contents. And in this event, it was active and it was actually swirling around and bubbling and, and, and uh, expanding and contracting. And that's a problem. And she and the students brought it into the building thinking that it was important to secure it so that students walking home in the afternoon wouldn't come across it. She had no idea of its volatility. Principal Lisa Paris says they immediately brought the bottle back outside and called state police. When they arrived, the bottle was on fire. The clandestine lab team from the DEA safely disposed of the materials. Luckily, no one was hurt, but Paris says this calls for an immediate education program. It was a scary thought, and uh, I think our immediate reaction after we secured their safety was that 
Uh, this is an area that students walk through daily, um, and if they found it once, there could be more. Parents were notified, and students and teachers were taught what to look out for and to call police if they see anything suspicious. Anybody that was in the area is in danger, and that's why it's so important for the public. If you see something like this, back away and call somebody. Well, the DEA says the meth problem is growing across the state, specifically in the North Country. No arrests have been made in this case. Anyone with information is asked to call state police. Live in studio, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. FBI investigating threat against Los Angeles Metro. The FBI in investigating an imminent threat against the Los Angeles metro system for which it had received specific information officials said authorities were still trying to determine if the threat was credible. The agency received information about the threat for tomorrow morning against the Red Line Metro. According to FBI, an eternal partner had given the agency information about an anonymous call to public safety line reporting a threat not making one. Officials decided to alert the public because of the immense in specific of the threat. Trump elected by the working poor. McCullen. The election of Donald Trump was a reaction to poor growth and should therefore not have been a surprise, says the founder of McCollin Institution. According to Mike McCollin, currently chairman of the European Hanops economic think tank, the driving force behind Trump's victory was so-called working poor, those who have jobs but struggle to make ends meet and feel they have been left behind as the economy has developed. French Interior Minister Kazvu appointed Prime Minister French Interior Minister Brandon Kazvu has been appointed Prime Minister. The Alzi Palace said Tuesday. Kazvu replaces Miel Valls, who announced Monday he would step down to launch a presidential bid. Valls will put himself in the running as Socialist Party candidate for next year's election. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday. See you back here later on today. Goodbye, everyone.